This video will demonstrate a procedure to extract the fats from a food sample. To perform the extraction, you will need your food sample, a mortar and pestle, a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, a 50 and 100 milliliter beaker, two 15 milliliter centrifuge tubes, a spatula, a hot plate, cyclohexane and saturated sodium chloride. Using your hands, break up your food sample while it is in the Ziploc bag. Then crush the sample in the mortar and pestle until it is a fine powder. Zero your balance and pre-weigh a 15 mL centrifuge tube together with the 100 ml beaker. Record this weight in your lab manual. When using a mortar and pestle, always place your pestle in a safe place so it doesn't roll away and get broken. Using your spatula, fill the centrifuge tube to approximately the 3 milliliter mark with your food sample. Now, weigh the centrifuge tube and beaker again. Record the weight. The difference is the weight of your food sample. Using your 10 milliliter graduated cylinder and a fresh transfer pipette, measure out 5 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride. Add it to the centrifuge tube. Cap the tube tightly and shake vigorously for three minutes. Rinse your graduated cylinder with water and using another fresh transfer pipette, measure out five milliliters of cyclohexane. Add it and shake again for three minutes. Prepare a balance tube for the centrifuge by weighing the centrifuge tube containing your sample. Make a note of the weight. Fill another centrifuge tube with about the same volume of water. Weigh the tube with the water. If the two tubes are approximately the same weight, you can use it as a balance tube. If not, adjust the amount of water until your tube matches. Following all the directions posted by the centrifuge, Place your two tubes directly across from each other and centrifuge your sample for about three minutes. When you remove your tubes, you may see a few different layers depending on the food sample you're using. For any sample, your fat will be in the top layer, which also contains the cyclohexane. Pre-weigh a 50 milliliter beaker and be sure to record the weight. Using a transfer pipette, very carefully transfer just the top layer from the centrifuge tube into the beaker. Place it on the hot plate and set the heat to about 3 or 4. The cyclohexane should reach a gentle boil and you should see vapors on the sides of the beaker. You may increase or decrease the heat as needed. Keep a close eye on the beaker. When you see larger bubbles and the vapors diminish on the sides of the beaker and it appears that all the cyclohexane has evaporated, remove the beaker, turn off the hot plate and unplug it. Allow your sample to cool to room temperature and weigh it. Record the weight of the beaker plus the fat. You now have the information needed to determine the percentage of fat in your sample. Just follow the calculations section in your procedure. Good luck and thanks for watching.